One of the most common questions that I'm getting right now is how do I maintain a sense of peace? There's so much turmoil, so much chaos going on right now. A lot of people are on edge. How can I show up in my business and really establish a sense of peace and joy and then keep that through the day? A number one most important recommendation I can give you is do not have 24-7 news going on in your home or your office, period. Those breaking news banners that go across the screen in red and, and, and huge typeface, they're meant to get your attention. They're meant to kind of, you know, jolt you into a, a state of, oh my God, what's going on? They're deliberately structured that way. It's just human nature that when you see that banner going across your computer or your TV screen, you're like, oh my God, what's happening? You can survive on, let's say, 30 to 60 minutes of news reports each day. You can actually survive on no news reports, but I know it's very difficult to break the habit if you have CNN or Fox or whatever your deliverer of choice is going in the background. Just, I beg of you, if it's going 24-7, please stop that. It is not going to do your mental health any good to just have that going in a constant rotation. I heard a message earlier this week, not by accident, I believe, and I want to share some of it with you today. Now, it was given by T.D. Jakes, and it's applicable no matter what faith or non-faith you are, so don't tune out. If you're not spiritual, it's okay. He said, if I were your enemy and I wanted to take you down, the first thing I would do is get into your thoughts. If I can get in your head and poison what's going on up there, I've got you. And that's so true. You can poison your own mind as well. If you're thinking negative thoughts, if you're in a space of panic, it's going to come out in your workflow as well. It's one thing to be vigilant and to say, I'm going to wash my hands, I'm going to use good hygiene practices, I'm going to keep the house clean, I'm obviously not going to go to a place that I feel like would be high risk for catching coronavirus. That's just common sense. But it turns into worry and panic if you're like, oh my God, I can't leave the house, um, I'm scared to death all the time, I, I need to have CNN going in the background 24 hours a day, I need to know, I need to know. It goes away from vigilance and common sense to hypervigilance and panic and anxiety. So the best tip I can give you, other than washing your hands and using just good common sense hygiene, is turn off the news. Watch something edifying. Listening to positive music or messages that you really resonate with. Do something other than getting into a Lord of the Flies mentality. I mean, I went to Walmart today to just get basic supplies for the week and I, I have a headache from it. <laughs> the level of energy and panic going on in there has, has given me a headache, uh, no lie. So don't poison your own mind. If you need any help, you need to talk about this further, drop me a line and I'll be happy to give you any insights I can. Bye for now.